create some scripts and triggers for this one. So right click, 2D object, sprite. This is gonna be our trigger. In this drop down here, just choose a sprite. I'm gonna go with pink crate. And let's put it negative 4.5. It's gonna overlap the platform a bit here, but that's fine. And negative four should be fine in the X. And that's it for the trigger for now. Let's go to our robot. Scroll on down to add component. And we want a script, so new script. And it's going to be CS for C sharp. Game values. And create this. And you can get to it a couple different ways, but if you go to, actually it's the assets, and double click the script, it will open up in mono. For this, we want to create some public variables. We'll make them public so that we can see them in the editor, for now at least. Public, float, mineral count with a capital C equals 0F public float gas count 0F public int life percent we'll want to set this one to 100 and then save this file save all go ahead and minimize mono All right, click your robot, scroll on down, you'll see that new script with the new variables there. Okay, let's go back to our trigger. So add component and search here for Collider. We're looking for the box Collider 2D. Click that. And this is a, a trigger, so check is trigger. That's important. And let's add also, we need to add, so exit that out add new script and for this one it's going to be CS mineral trigger create and we can just double click here to open up in mono let's create a new method and let's comment it let's see it can be um, what is this going to do Alright, so when you collide with this, when the player collides with this, collect minerals while you're inside the trigger. Void on trigger stay 2D and it's going to be a collider that's going to trigger this. So collider 2D, we'll just name it other. And then so what do you want to do with that object, the player? You want to grab its script. So other dot get component actually capital G here carrot the name of the script so it was CS game values close this out parentheses dot and then the variable that the variable that we want is mineral count And what we want to do is tick it up a bit when you're inside this trigger. So plus equals 0.01F. And it's going to add a little space there, but don't worry about that. File, save all. And minimize again. So go ahead and play this. Now, when you walk over to the trigger, like click your robot, go down to that script, look at the the variable there for mineral count. See how it's ticking up slowly but surely? That's what we want. And now we want to do the same thing for the gas variable, the gas resource. So this is going to be our mineral resource in our game. So let's actually duplicate this. Let's name it first. Mineral trigger is fine. Right click, duplicate. 
name this one gas trigger. For the script, let's open up our mineral trigger and copy that method that we made. We can remove this one. We could put this all in one script, but let's just do a new one for gas. So actually remove the component, add component, and new script, just like before. For this one, it's going to be CS gas trigger and create that, open it up, paste in that method from the mineral trigger, and change the comment. So instead of minerals, it'll be gas that we're collecting here. And the variable is gas count, not mineral count. And that's it, just save this. Now you can't really see the gas trigger because it's on top of the mineral one, so they look the same. So grab the gas trigger and then move this to positive 4, so the other side of the robot. Now when you play this, walk over to it. Again, click the robot, scrolling down to that script. You can see those public variables that we created. So gas count's now going up because you're collecting gas. And then same for mineral count. So later, your robot will actually animate as he collects. Let's change the color here for the gas just so it looks different. We'll put real art in later, but I just just so you know it's two different objects. And this doesn't really work the way you would expect it to work. Like I'm choosing like green and showing a black. It's a blue, dark blue is fine, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And we actually want to save our project. So save file, save project. And you need to save the scene as well. So file, save scene. Just name it something like game level. And that's it for this one.